This is the public interest technology knowledge network team out of the University of Michigan. Tayo uh, Fabusui is my name, and I'm the faculty lead on this project. And with me today is Rema Hampshire, the team entrepreneur in residence and strategist. And the focus of our project is mainstreaming the embodied knowledge and lived experiences of BIPOC PIP practitioners. The objective of, the, of our project is to democratize knowledge within the field of public interest technology by increasing the visibility, by giving voice to, and by centering the embodied knowledge and lived experiences of Honda represented PIC practitioners. Uh, these folks have historically been relegated to the peripheries. And we recognize that to have a more democratic PIC field, it is imperative that their voices, their viewpoints, their experiences be mainstream and pushed to the core. Uh, now, folks may ask, why these? Why now? Um, it turns out um, that we have been conducting interviews with BIPOC paid entrepreneurs. And what quickly became obvious to us is that the binding constraint, the primary constraint to their growth or the impact of their career trajectory within this space has less to do with the technical expertise. You've been able to code you've been able to write an API, but more in terms of the unwritten rules, the nuances, the soft features, how they navigate these maze, the networks that they have, the access to information, uh, or the access to startup funds, or the informal relationships, which for a lot of these folks uh, tend to be thin and not thick. You know? um, and these are the things, these soft features I, I just mentioned, uh, what are typically required for one to have a decent foothold and thrive in this space. And so that explains why we are focusing and we're centering and we're directing a lot of our effort in terms of trying to surface some of these issues and be able to structure them in such a manner that allows us to be able to respond uh, to them constructively. So this is um, a kind of a 50,000 foot view uh, in terms of the approach that we've taken at the U of M. The U of M will serve as a resource for this effort in terms of standing up this platform. And we see this as a marketplace. We do not see it as a shop. We do not see it as a store, but as a marketplace. Um, and, I will, and I will quickly explain why. A shop could do well when you sell for volume. A store could do well too when you sell for volume. But we recognize that these folks' individual, individual and personalized and idiosyncratic experiences comes in niches. And so we have to embrace the marketplace way of thinking um, to get to a lot of these issues. We envision that people could bring their insights, their experiences, which we label as wares, onto this platform and be able to learn from one another. Uh, but even more so that they can build social capital from these, from the series of meaningful connections and collaborations that our platform will spark and nurture among uh, the BIPOC pit entrepreneurs. And I'll now give the floor to Rayman. Thanks, Tayo. And so as we mentioned, uh, BIPOC pit entrepreneurs possess an immense amount of embodied knowledge uh, from their lived experiences and from their journeys as entrepreneurs, and we see real value uh, in this knowledge. Some of this knowledge is tacit, and so it's not as uh, formal um, as necessary to, you know, really be consumed uh, by the public or by, you know, practitioners in the field. And so with the PIT uh, Knowledge Network, the aim is to really convert this tacit knowledge into explicit knowledge through publishing um, and working to validate BIPOC experiences and increasing their visibility and meaningful collaboration with academia. And beyond BIPOC pit entrepreneurs, students and faculty also benefit uh, from our approach. Um, often we've heard from students that they're interested in the field of public interest technology. However, they're unclear of pathways into the field. And so the PIT-KN will provide opportunities to connect 
and collaborate with ongoing projects within the field where students can begin to explore their passions and their interests and bring their skills to bear. Uh, we think that students um, are you know, an integral driver to the future uh, of, the, of public interest technology. And we hope that through our PIT-KN that they'll be able to help shape the future of, of the field. And for faculty, what we've been experimenting with and what we, what we know is that faculty members bring a diverse perspective to the field. Um, and through the PIT-KN, we hope to be able to marry uh, some of the theoretical frameworks, the data and research that faculty members have uh, with some of the, the practices that are happening uh, in the community. And so with these three uh, groups, students, BIPOC, PIT entrepreneurs and faculty, we think that this is a very powerful learning community that can benefit the field of public interest technology. The resources that we have developed to date are listed here, uh, and they'll also be made available on pitcases.org. Um, so we invite you to take a look at some of the work that we have developed um, and reach out to us. Reach out to us if you, if you have any thoughts or any interest in, in collaborating with us. Uh, we definitely are open uh, to hearing your thoughts. And so with that, we would like to say thank you on, the, on behalf of the University of Michigan Knowledge Network team. Um, we also invite you to visit us at midas.umich.edu slash pitkn. On our website, we provide uh, those resources that, that, that you just saw, and also uh, a form if you would like to reach out to us. Thank you. Thank you.